Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is material, the vertex normal world space node. I've got a quick little example here. Basically, this block is using my vertex normal world space, and it's basically determining does that vertex, the normal world space, is it facing an upwards direction or a sideways direction? And based on that, it is coloring it white for a vertical direction, up or down. Let's pull this up, we can see down. Or is it facing an outward direction, as you can see orange on the side? Now I've gone ahead and put a normal map on here so we can note the difference between the vertex normal world space and the pixel normal world space. So let's go ahead and cover the node itself. Here's our vertex normal world space. Let me unhook everything and let me plug in just the node so we can see how it works. Looking at it compiled, what we're going to do is we're going to see a positive red in the red direction, positive green in the green direction, and a positive blue in the blue direction. Our XYZ or our RGB. We're going to see black in the negative directions because if we're giving it a negative color, something that's not 0 to 1 for a value, it's going to be black. So we need to understand what a vertex normal is. Here's my box. Here is my normal. It is the direction each of these lines are. And then here are my vertexes. Each of these faces is going to have a vertex defining the face. Each of these vertexes is going to have a normal determining which direction the normal is, or basically your outward direction. You can have two-sided normals, two-sided faces, things like that, but for the most part, unless you're doing something abnormal, when you're looking at a face, the normal is the reason you can see it because it's facing your direction, and that tells the renderer, you know, the outward direction of this face, and... That's it. It tells you the outward direction of the face. That's what it is. And the normal direction for the vertices, on this case, is going to be the, the towards me, looking here. It's going to be up on that one. It's going to be to the right on that one. It's going to be the left on that one. Of course, it's going to be different depending on which orientation you're looking at. So, when we're using the vertex normal, it's going to take the normal for the vertex, which is here, 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 and here. And it's going to give it back the direction it faces. And in this case, it's facing towards our X, which is our red direction. And it's going to give us back a positive value for that. And it's going to give us back a zero for the other directions because we're only facing that direction. If I was to rotate this, you're going to start seeing a blending. Because our direction, if we, let's put it back to zero, we have a red and a blue. And as we start to rotate this, now we are getting back something more like a one for the red and a one for the blue, which is of course going to give us a purple color. If we were to, and if you notice here, we're starting to get red on the bottom because we're starting to get a one for the red value. So in use, what could we use this for? Well, if I was to plug this and move these down and plug this back in to our missive color, what I'm doing here is basically getting the vertex normal in world space Let's make it look like this. Masking out the B, which is our X, Y, Z. Blue is equal to Z or Z, our vertical. Getting the absolute value of it and then plugging it into an if. And I'm comparing it to 0.5. Basically, is it greater than 0.5? A 1 in the Z direction is going to be up. A negative 1 in the Z direction is going to be down. And anything between that is going to be partially up or down. So if we want, we want to know if it's more than halfway up or down. And if it is, we're going to color it orange or white. If we go back into our box, we'll actually apply this and then go back to our box. What you're going to find is any of the faces are in our normal, our vertex normals on this mesh, on this that the material is applied to. Any of them that are facing more than halfway up are going to be white. Anything facing not halfway up are going to be orange. And if we rotate this, You'll notice when we hit a certain point, now that this face is more than halfway up and this face, they're both white. And of course, as we turn it some more, it'll go to orange as it needs to. And it applies no matter what 
we're rotating. We can rotate this direction and it's going to apply the same thing. We can rotate it this direction and it's going to continue. So it's a great way of knowing what is up or what is down or which direction something is facing. For example, let's say this was a rock and I wanted snow to only be on the top of it. I could use the vertex normals to determine on that rock which parts are facing up and I could know to only apply snow to that portion. Now if we go ahead and apply our normal to this, we're going to see the difference between the vertex normal world space and the pixel normal world space. The vertex normal world space uses just the vertexes. It doesn't care what you've done to the actual pixels itself. In this case, I've altered the pixels with the normal to give it more of a bumped out look. If I was to go over here and I was to look at my pixel normal world space, you'll see we have white along the tops of our bricks because we've altered the underlying pixels. In this one, even though we've altered the underlying pixels, the box itself, the shape that we've looked at and its vertex normals have not been changed. Therefore, it doesn't care. It's going to go ahead and just color in the sides or the top based on what we've told. It. So that's going to go and wrap up the vertex normal world space node. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.